Hi guys, this is May with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I'm going to be talking about things that I've really been enjoying lately. I've done a few favorites videos in the past that I will link down below, but I just want to talk about some of the things that I've really been loving this spring in 2021. Now of course, my favorite things ever are God and my husband and my kids, but as I go through different seasons of life, there are just some things just in our house, around our daily lives, that I just really particularly enjoy or that make me very happy while I'm around them or if their activities make me very happy while I'm doing them. So it just depends on the phase of life, but in each, in each season of life, I try to focus on some things that I'm really grateful for. And so these are some of the things that I've been really thankful for having in my life. This spring has actually been especially full of stress and craziness for our family because if you guys didn't know, we are in the process of selling our home of three years where our children were born, our first home that we bought together, and we are buying a new homestead. So it's all very exciting stuff, but of course, a big transition like that is something that's very stressful on a family. So I have just really been trying to stay in prayer a lot, as well as just focusing on the little joys, just simple little things. A lot of the things I'm going to talk about in today's video are just very simple, but that just still bring me joy. And so I've been trying to focus on things like that that are just simple and don't seem stressful and big like the life change that's coming up. Things that just make our life feel a little less hectic. So number one is more outdoor time. I think this is probably a favorite every spring that comes around because as the weather warms up, it just becomes more and more enjoyable to be outside. We start going to more places around our Bitterroot Valley that are especially wooded. We really love taking our kids up to like Lake Como, to the campsites and having a fire and just letting the kids run around and play. Or we'll go to Mill Creek Trailhead or Lodge Overlook, or we have some favorite spots that we like to go that us and the kids just have a blast when we're there. And there's something about being out in nature, especially out in the woods for me, that it just feels very healing to the soul. If you're kind of in a stressed out period in your life, it kind of helps reground you. And especially if it's somewhere that's out of cell service, even if it's not, I'll leave my phone in the car and it just really helps us reconnect as a family and just feel a little bit more disconnected from the craziness. The second thing I've really been enjoying lately is my gray apron. Now that may sound very, very simple, but I actually recently had this apron given to me by my husband's aunt. She actually bought it and it was too long for her and I'm the very tall lady in the family. So she gave it to me, it fits me perfectly and I really love the style and it's fun to have a new apron. <laughs> when I get dressed in the morning and I put up my hair and I put my apron on, I feel like I have my uniform on or something. It makes me feel ready to conquer the day and like I'll be very productive. In the category of books, the main book I have been loving lately is called Heartfelt Discipline by Clay Clarkson. I'm a bit of a bookworm and I always have like about five books I'm going through at a time, but lately I've been very into parenting books and it just feels like such a huge task that we're undertaking with our kids and the gravity of it is, it just really hits me sometimes and so I always have several parenting books that I'm reading through. My sister-in-law recently loaned me this book and I read it through in like three days. It was so good and I loved it so much that I actually went and bought my own copy and now I'm reading through it a second time a little bit slower. I'm taking time to underline my favorite parts and my husband's reading through it a little bit slower than me, so he's seeing what parts I've underlined. But as Christian parents, young Christian parents trying to navigate life in this very cultural, secular world, finding books like this that are very solid and he brings a lot of scripture into it. And it's just brought me a lot of clarity and peace about our parenting and things I really can work on. It talks a lot about being in the word a lot and letting God's word guides you and how you discipline your children. And so that's been something I've been very convicted about is that I need to be in the word more and more throughout the day and just in prayer more about this because it's something that's not just a formula. Like you don't just do the same thing for everything your kids do. So it's something that is more God's like leading you in parenting and helping you grow. And it's like a very, parent by parent, child by child 
situation by situation thing. So it's brought me a lot of peace when it comes to parenting. So I highly recommend that book. It's definitely my favorite parenting book ever. <laughs> and that's saying a lot because I've read a lot of parenting books. The next thing is my new yellow front door. If you guys have seen, especially my pictures on Instagram, you'll know that we just recently painted our front door and our back door. But particularly the front door is gorgeous. It's a mustard yellow. Now our house is a dark blue and it has white trim and so that mustard yellow just really pops against the dark blue. It has the most lovely contrast. I could, I didn't even picture it turning out so well when we did it. And it felt like a little bit scary to be doing something so drastic, especially since we are selling our house. But I really love it and it makes me happy every time I come in and out of the door and I see that really happy color. It's just been really nice. And I'm definitely gonna be painting something yellow on our new house whenever we find a house because I love having something yellow on our house. The next thing is the doTERRA Motivate Essential Oil Blend. This is like a pre-mixed blend that you can buy from doTERRA. It's called Motivate and it has been so nice because sometimes as a mom you need a little extra motivation. So along with my cup of coffee I'll diffuse some of this Motivate Essential Oil and it really does help. Like it helps me feel more motivated and more energetic and it's, it's got the most lovely scent. Even if it didn't like do anything for my motivation, I would diffuse it just because it smells so good. So that's been something I've been diffusing nonstop over the last like month. I go through phases, I'll go through like a citrus phase and a on guard phase. And right now I'm in a, a motivate phase. The next thing is beeswax candles. Now I know this is not necessarily a spring item. This is more of something you'd think of as like a winter favorites item, but I recently found a new source for beeswax candles and I'm so excited about them that I've been burning them all the time and they're so pretty. And even if I'm not burning them, they just look pretty in their candlesticks. They're the taller type of candles. They're not just the kind that are poured in like a container. They're like the tall tapered candles. Because recently I had found a lot of great brass candlesticks, but I didn't have any candles to put them in. And th that is something that's more difficult to do on your own. It takes, like to make taper candles, it takes a lot of dipping. You have to have a lot of beeswax, a big tall container, and it takes a lot of time. It's kind of tedious and with little kids running around, I just didn't feel like dealing with it right now. I will make them again soon, but I really wanted to find a source for good 100% beeswax candles with no paraffin wax or anything bad. And then I recently heard on the Paracene Farm Girl YouTube channel that she buys them from Azure Standards. So I looked on Azure and they had some for a really great price. They have, they're, they're, short, they're shorter ones. They have taller taper candles that are super expensive, but then the shorter, more basic ones are actually, they actually seem like a really good price. So I ordered like five packs. <laughs> And I'm, I was so excited to get them and I put them in all my candlesticks and they look so much prettier now. And one of my favorite things to do with them lately is actually to get like two or three of them and after I clean the kitchen, I'll set them like next to the sink or on the table and I'll light them and it just like gives the finishing touch to a nice, clean, cozy, nourishing kitchen. On to the music category. I've had one artist that's been my absolute favorite lately. I do go through phases with music as well, and I always come back to this guy. And that is Nathan Clark George Music. It is Christian music. This guy is a, I think he's reformed, but he's a pastor and a songwriter. A lot of his songs are psalms or if he writes them himself, they're very Christian based and theologically sound and they are so fun to listen to. I will link his website and I'm also gonna link my favorite of his songs because there's one about, I'm gonna totally butcher what it's about, but it's about little kids growing up and it's just very sweet and sentimental and it makes me like almost cry every time I listen to it. <laughs> so you guys gotta go listen to that. As for podcasts, I have two podcasts that I've been loving lately. I am a bit of a podcast junkie I seriously have at least 30 podcasts that range anywhere from home birth to healthy eating to Christian motherhood to philosophy, like just a huge range of topics. But one of my favorite ones lately is one called Wise Traditions. If you guys have been around my channel much, you'll know that we love healthy traditional foods diet. And so I vary into the Weston A. Price Foundation diet 
And this is actually a production of the Weston A. Price Foundation. It's called Wise Traditions. They have so much good information about like everything health. And so, especially being pregnant, I actually went through and searched for all the pregnancy ones first. I listed all those. But they have some really good ones, even about like EMFs and just like so many different topics that you wouldn't even think were on there. And then the next podcast I've been loving is called At Home with Sally. Now, this is funny because after reading Heartfelt Discipline by Clay Clarkson, I realized that I have a bunch of books by his wife that I didn't even connect the dots that they were by the same person. And then this podcast is also by his wife. It's like a lot of, there's been a lot of like coincidentally realizing I'm listening to their family anyway. It's been weird. But the Clarksons just seem to be, they seem to have a lot of joy in Christ and it just like seems to overflow to everyone else. And so it's like very refreshing to hear her podcast and she has a lot of good episodes on encouragement and motherhood and I've been really encouraged and uplifted by that particular podcast lately. So those are all the things that I added to this list as things I'm thankful for and enjoying this spring of 2021. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know and I would love to make some more for you guys. Maybe do more of a quarterly thing if you guys like seeing this. But thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.